Hey guys, welcome back to another Killing Floor 2 video. This time I show you how to beat this week's weekly outbreak beefcake. The challenge is that every time Zets hit you, whether through physical attacks or projectiles, they get bigger, they get more health, and they get more reach. This challenge is once again on suicidal or medium length, we are all used to that. Now what you're seeing right now is actually my first time playing through the challenge, so I didn't know what to expect. But the weird thing about this challenge is that it plays just like normal games. Normal as in, you're not really playing a weekly outbreak. I think this might actually be the most boring weekly outbreak out of all. I mean, as long as you keep a distance, deaths will be just like how they were. Also, even though they get bigger and get more health, I think they might actually go down more easily than usual when they are normal size, and they don't actually hit that hard. Now, I haven't played this game for like 3 weeks except for that one time I fired up the game to get the Flash Pound Visor, so I might be remembering the game wrongly and you can see how rusty I am at the game, but I'm still doing just fine going through the waves, except for some close calls. So, there's really not much to talk about here. If you're used to playing on Suicidal, you have some level 25 perks to play on a map that you're familiar with, you understand how to kill Squirts and Flash Pounds quickly, you should have no trouble going through wave 1-7. to seven. I'm playing as the support because support is really strong in this game. I'm playing on Zed Landing because if I camp at the stairs here, Usually I can kill a group of Zeds quite quickly, and while Zeds do backsmall me sometimes, the large area on the beach makes it somewhat easy to maneuver around. I did get cornered by like a million stalkers here though, so... RIP. Jumping to the boss wave, I think this is the most difficult part of the challenge, I mean sure, on the other ways you get scratch and flesh powers, sometimes you get cornered but they all go down easily and actually do do a lot of damage. But remember we are playing the beefcake challenge, so on boss wave, because of how resilient the bosses are and they all have projectile attacks, they get buffed very easily and they will stay that way till the end of the battle. These make the bosses tankier and harder to take down, but otherwise the fight is still the same, use whatever build you use to kill the bosses as usual. Buy extra guns and put them somewhere easily accessible and spam mouse one. If you do manage to beat this challenge, you will be awarded the Golden Horse in Security Suit, Precious Rarity. Now this is actually something I was really looking forward to because previously you get the Golden Horse in Security Helmet for beating Bobble Z but you can't really use it because, well, the other pieces just don't go well with it. So I was really hoping they would release the suit in a future weekly outbreak, and they did! Now I can finally shine in pea yellow glory. Hooray! So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave a comment, or even subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. But until then, take care.